Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and Toman and Caitlin are getting married. So our colonists have gathered together. You can see it's towards the end of winter. So we've had Arakiri going around revitalizing people. Zitro is currently on the docket for healing a scratch scar on his eye. Um, and then we had to teach Dunja revitalize so she could do it to Arakiri and get her eye scratches um, resolved as well. Today, other than a wedding, I think it is time to investigate what the Empire was guarding over here at what we believe is a downed ship. I think there's some other stuff that we want to do as well. Um, we probably want to spend this intel and... Think our visibility is down to whispers. Let's contact the rebels and see really quick. Um, we've been hoarding supplies, so we have been just mining tons and tons of Beskar and steel from these guys. Not Beskar, Dura steel. We have enough Beskar to make someone some armor soon. It looks like Ezreal and uh, Sybil are the only two that don't have armor. Uh, plots, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six plots left. High combat, it's a raid. Medium combat, visibility increased 66. We are at hidden, so that wouldn't be terrible. Um, and we could take care of that with Zitro being down, I think. Well, we can wait for Zitro to get back. Let's go ahead and select this one, and we'll have it up on the map. Um world let's see where did that end up it is right there okay so we will visit that when zitro is up i think we'll get the shuttle put together and we'll go check out that down ship for the the ship launch event and i heard that panther might be on his way back to pick up beetle so we'll see how that goes Okay, we've gotten word from Pantha that he is arriving shortly, and I think Beetle has kind of enjoyed his time here. I did a little comic. Be this is not the first time Beetle has been accidentally abandoned by Pantha. So I think once he gets here, they're going to have like some words, and Beetle's actually going to convince Pantha that he has he has work to do here with the rebels, and so Pantha. Pantha might just hang out for a little bit longer until that work is done. Uh, apparently, he's also just getting right to work doing this deep drill. So, uh, welcome back, Pantha. Uh, Zitro is up and about. So, let's get our Jedi on the road. We'll take this guy out. Let's form a caravan, accept, and we'll say Zitro, and we'll say Ara. And we'll hit send. It's just going to take them uh, a little longer than a day. We did send them out like in the middle of night. So they're going to they're going to stop to to sleep. Oh, I also just realized that there wasn't any audio when I was showing the Steam pages yesterday. Um, what I was trying to say while I had those Steam pages open was that the uh, Facial Stuff mod had updated, specifically the Facial Stuff mod for um, Xenotype compatibility. Uh, if you go into the change notes on it, you can see what mods it supports, and Outer Rim um, got updated, or not Outer Rim itself, but the Xenotype um, compatibility facial stuff mod got updated this month to add outer rim as compatible so um, we've got like a little buggy some faces not quite working up here in the colonist bar but uh, if we take a look at Lucia her face is working in game on the map so uh, that's good enough for me I'm just excited to have faces again uh, Nali is pregnant um, <laughs> well I guess I guess we didn't actually do anything about that. While we're talking about that, let's make sure that you guys avoid pregnancy. Uh, that did not go well last time. Uh, Hanali, where? I guess we'll go ahead and stick a crib in there. Uh, furniture. I think all our furniture is made out of Durasteel, so we'll make the crib out of Durasteel as well. And uh, hopefully it's better this time.
Okay, we've arrived. There are 22 of them. Slid here uh, is our target. And let's go ahead and I guess we'll come around this way. Um, oh, did we not bring Zitro? Where? Oh, you're... I rearranged everyone so that they're next to their Padawans. I think we'll have Zitro, like, use his grab pack to jump way in. Um, okay, you guys search and destroy. Zitro, you be sneaky. Okay, where have you wandered off to, Slid? Right down there, okay. Zitro, why don't you go ahead and do this? Uh, are you searching and destroying? You are not. You are now. Are all of you guys searching and destroying? Let's make sure. Okay. And... Just jump right on him. Oh, he's moving. Get this guy. Get this guy. Uh, I think he got him. <laughs> I think the game's like trying to resolve the quests and all that other fun stuff. It has locked up a little bit. Yep, there we go. Okay, uh, public enemy. Oh, we're going to have some problems. <laughs> uh, we need to get off this map quickly. Okay. And I've noticed I have to reset everyone's lightsaber colors every time I like reload my save. So we'll take care of that when we get back to base. Okay, these guys are fleeing. Uh, are any of them going to be able to flee? Uh, Corsaro might. Okay. And I think that's good. I think we will take prisoners. Um, we do need more... We need more folks if we're using powerful faction bases. I think also I took a look at people's like psychic sensitivity and believe it or not, Jimbo is actually very psychically sensitive. If we look at the numbers, um, he is up there with the Jedi. So I'll, I'll post a poll to leave it up to you guys on whether we should, um, turn Jimbo into a Jedi. I believe Arkiri has the ability that she can awaken the Force in someone. Uh, I don't know how I feel about a Jedi named Jimbo, though. <laughs> so, um, let me know what you guys think. Okay, let's go ahead and grab World and Reform Caravan. We'll head down here. Uh, we're just gonna take all of them. We'll see what they look like when we get back to base. We'll grab all this stuff. Items. We will grab things to sell. And we will grab weapons as well. Uh, that's tainted. Okay, you guys will be home in a day. We need a prison. How many prisoners did we grab? Uh, social, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Um, you know what? They're really quick builders, so I think we can take care of that. Uh, we'll throw something down like that. And let's take a look at the pods that have arrived. Okay, we can deconstruct that and we'll smelt this legendary golden spear down. Um, nothing, nothing worth keeping. Okay, we've arrived back. We are taking our prisoners just to some temporary space right now. We're a third of the way through with this, so they're pretty quick. They're just not uh, faster than the caravan. Okay, just had a look through them. I think you're a pyromaniac, right? No, you pyromaniac. So we're releasing you. I think we're releasing one of these guys. Is it you? No, pyromaniac. Release, okay, so we'll recruit and recruit and recruit. And then one of these guys we already released, a, not a pyromaniac, but something else, a wimp, okay. And we're recruiting Brooks. So we have, I think, out of the seven, four that uh, seemed recruitable. Um, so that'll definitely help us add to our numbers. I think once we get them situated in their little barracks prison, 
Uh, then we'll go ahead and take a look at the spaceship. Okay, we could use with a visibility decrease. So we're going to accept this. Let's jump to that control station. It's not too far. Um, it's a bit of a walk, though, so I think we might take our shuttle. Visibility change to news. Okay, that's a little better. Um, prisoners, we have... Actually, we need to release you. Um, we have space for, like, three more. What is your deal? Oh, you have no arms or legs, so that's why we can't release you. Um, Arakiri, go ahead and let's see if we can get them mobile and get them out of here. I guess we'll set this for prisoners for now so that you can have somewhere proper to, like, be. And, ooh, you're going to, hopefully, you grow some legs first. Okay, we decided to walk over because it was only a day and a half. Um, 11 that are visible. You guys are basically right there. We're just going to turn search and destroy on. And, oh, actually, this guy. Mm. Let's turn search and destroy off. Can we go around and bait them up top? Or could we do... Wait, where's my melee attack button? <laughs> yes! Okay, H. Um... Um, instantly. Okay. Um, what, ooh, wait, where are you going, Selvi? Okay, Selvi, get back. Uh, let's turn that jumping off. Uh, and this jumping, well, as soon as... Okay, just go for it, you guys. Okay, public enemy. Um, how high did that take us? Contact rebels. I'm like annoyed, but also not super concerned. If I was super concerned, I would I would like micro them, but it's fine. They'll do. They're gonna do what they're gonna do, and I'm fine with that. And they're doing what they're going to do because we have intentionally set them to do what they're going to do. Oh, wait. What? What? Oh, uh, they're mind controlled. <laughs> we taught Ezreal and Leonid mind control and they mind control some dudes. Um, mind control... Exert your will over a target using the force, dominating their mind. The duration of control scales with the target's dark side corruption. Okay, so it will wear off health. Uh, mind control, zero seconds. Okay, no longer mind controlled. Uh, Vols, actually, all of you guys, take this out. And why don't you go ahead and melee attack the door? Okay, we are at 89, and we're about to reduce that by like 30 or something, so I'm not too worried. Okay, and then take those out. Okay. You guys are taking one last guy out. We will extract what intel we can from here. Let's take a look and see what our visibility is at. Quest completed. Visibility changed to rumors. Much better. Okay, you guys are free to go. Let's unforbid the things and we'll extract intel from what we can. We can't extract intel from that? There we go. Um, let's deconstruct these doors. It's probably just like batteries that are behind there. And we do have a loot box. There is one more thing out here. Why don't you go ahead and melee attack it? Because you're super fast. 
Okay, visibility 55. That is not terrible. Okay, I will take a look through this. We'll get these guys marching home and we'll see if there are three good candidates to potentially recruit. Okay, we're on our way back. We found two more loot crates in some of those rooms that were closed off, and we are bringing one prisoner with us, Murphy, who is, oh, I can't remember already. He's beautiful and something else. Social, Murphy, bio, tough. Okay, nice. I guess while they're on their way back, we can probably send a scouting party over to that landing site. Let's grab our rangers. I know there's not going to be a threat, but we have no idea what's over there. So uh, we'll grab them. We'll grab some package survival meals, except, and we'll get them loaded up and head on out. Okay, we've arrived. A ship has been found. Um, we didn't just find a ship. We found an Imperial outpost. Um, it looks like there is a freighter. Uh, what is this? BFF-1 bulk freighter. Uh, we have a, I think this is a D-20 frigate. Uh, looks like they have a D-20 frigate that they've like parted out. And a CR-70 uh, Corellian frigate um so looks like we have a little like a uh, air control here we have like a barracks uh so this is a facility that the empire was using to kind of like dismantle ship parts and ship those parts out to um production facilities so we've hit like a little gold mine we've managed to attain like at least three functional ships and we might be able to put this one together with the resources that we've been hoarding back at base um so a little mini fleet for our rebel alliance uh power might be an issue food might be an issue we also who has the ship we formed caravan and then we had to enter it manually so i think someone's holding the ship Yes. Um, we also don't have much like enough fuel to get back. So we're going to have to like make some chem fuel and get these guys sorted out. Um, we do have two infinite chem fuel reactors. We just don't have any food right now. We need to do some hunting, uh, which we can take care of and convert that to chem fuel. I think I think Panther's ship is loaded up pretty well, so we can go pick them up in Panther's ship, actually. Like, why don't we uninstall this guy, and then we'll have Panther come, like, pick these guys up. Um, for now, we have pushed the Empire, like, pretty far back, but we need to start um, with this guy and maybe Panther's ship just, like, bringing resources over. So... Uh, we will see what needs to happen to make that happen. These guys are still out caravanning for one day. Let's get our rangers picked up. That way they can give this news to Arakiri when she arrives back at base. Okay, we've gotten our rangers home, but Arakiri has run into an attack patrol, uh, Galactic Empire patrol. We're going to attack them. If we escape, it does increase our visibility. So um, let's go. Okay, we're here, and they are set to search and destroy. Of course, Zitro is the first one in. Oh, Zitro, you can jump and stuff. Oh, you are, you are like full of heat from all that blocking you've been doing already. Why don't we get you a little out of there? Okay, they are good to go, so we'll get them home. We'll see if there's any other prisoners that we might want to pick up and bring home. We are bringing Murphy with us from that previous mission. Okay, we've arrived home with our last set of prisoners. Our little prison barracks is full. Panther has a bed. Um, 
I think what I want to do is we have another shuttle staging post. This is going to cut our visibility in half, so we need to accept that. If we take a look, Ezra, why don't you take a look at the Rebels real quick and let me know what's going on. Plots, we have one, two, three, four, five plots left, and then kind of like the end mission. Or actually, is one of those plots the final mission? Uh, Operation Wise Tale. No, that's the Emperor. Okay. Or at least the leader of, of this area. Um, so we need to do those plots. And then the final mission will be kind of like disabling the planetary defenses that the Empire has here. Once that's done, then we can kind of like take our fleet and go. So, um... Let's get our Jedi back out on the road. Uh, where did that quest go? Oh man, it's way over there. Okay. Um, we're going to have to fly over to it. That is fine. I think Panther ship has tons of fuel and I think it seats eight people, which is basically all our Jedi. Uh, let's do Zitro. Let's do Ara. Let's grab some packaged survival meals. We don't have very many. Um, we'll grab, I guess, these simple meals. That should be good. We'll do that quest, and then I think what we'll do is we'll have the Jedi come stay here, since none of them are sharing beds. There's food here. There is cleaning and other stuff to do they can secure the ships and the rebels can work on the logistics of getting materials over so that we can finish putting together these ships right they don't have like any furniture they barely have bridges this one doesn't have anything and it's a wreck um and i think there are some other things that we need to build like uh, a salvage bay and whatnot so That'll be that'll be a lot of work that we do next week. I think we'll finish up this week by lowering our visibility. Next week, we will try and wrap up all our plots. Get these ships in working order and get off the planet. So let's launch. Let's hit this guy. Let's drop in at the edge. And we'll come back when we get there. Okay, we are arriving. I have no idea how much fuel we consumed. I hope Panther's okay with us snagging a ship. Oh, Panther's ship is way more fuel efficient than that other ship we have. Um, okay, so we can actually get our Jedi home. Um, yeah, we'll do that because I, like, there are literally no defenses on that other map, so we need to bring quite a few people and things over, maybe build some, like, mortars and stuff. Okay, you guys, no more search and destroy. I need you guys over here. I need you guys, like, throwing lightsabers at this guy. Oh, that's not... That's not going to be it. Let's go. Okay, cool. I was worried about them blowing up, but we just, like, slammed through it. Uh, a couple loot boxes. No intel, though. Okay. Well, then. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Let's see if there's anything good in these loot boxes, and then we'll get you guys back home. So, tough skin gland. Something that someone put somewhere. Okay, some guns, a tech print. Okay. Well then, visibility is low again. On Monday, we can do at least one plot. If we're lucky, and get a quest to lower our visibility and get some intel then we could probably do a second plot. But next week, we will start relocating supplies and materials. We will need to build some proton artillery. We might need to put shields up. We're going to leave this base intact, 
Um, and actually, I've been wanting to rename it. So um, we called this Tarn and Landing Site, but really it's become kind of like our rebel headquarters, right? So this will be like Tarnan Rebel HQ. And then this is, uh, can we name this? Jedi Survivors Landed Ship. Okay, well, it's just called the Landed Ship for now. <laughs> Um, and it'll probably stay that way. We might be able to rename it in the future, but it was really an, like Imperial Shipyard um, deconstructing uh, old, not old rebel, but old Republic ships. Things are, I, I like the playthrough felt really, really slow for a while, for me at least. And now it feels like the end game is just like within our grasp. So I'm pretty excited. Thanks for hanging out, you guys, as always. Until next time, uh, have a good one and have a good weekend. Bye.